One area where I think environmentalists have gone wrong is to try to sell sustainability in terms of the kinds of sacrifices people have to make. They're going to have to give this up and give that up. Nothing sells if people feel they're going to be worse off as a result of doing this. Using off-the-shelf technologies, people could continue to have the equivalent lifestyle in terms of material well-being with one quarter the energy use. I think people should uh, take an immediate energy inventory of their lives and see how much energy they're actually using and how much energy they need to use. When my wife and I did this uh, a few years ago, we were amazed to find that we could get by perfectly well on about one-fifth the amount of electricity that the average California household uses. People think, oh, how could one person possibly make a difference? But in fact, there have been studies that have shown that if everybody in the United States switched one of their lights to fluorescent lights, we would significantly cut down on our energy consumption. So there are choices that individuals can make that will make a difference collectively if enough individuals make those choices. We do have to make a massive shift in our way of thinking, a paradigmatic change in the beliefs, values, and assumptions underpinning agricultural production. Something like 17%, perhaps a little more now, of the U.S. energy budget is involved in food production, processing, and distribution. We need to nurture our, our local economies. With food, this is perhaps most important of all. We need to get to know our local farmers. And a great way of doing that is, is through what's called community-supported agriculture, where you actually make an agreement with a specific local farmer to supply you with food. And so what this does is it relocalizes the economy and it makes our food system not only more sustainable but much more resilient. And that's, that's tremendously important. The single most important thing we need to do is to become politically engaged to convince our politicians that we have to constrain our consumption through regulatory regimes and legal frameworks that impose upon all nations equally. Strictures against the inappropriate use of resources, against, for example, simple things such as subsidizing the oil and gas sector. Unless the general public that is being disadvantaged by these policies is in there fighting for change, the special interests are going to win out every time. So I think one has to be involved politically uh, with the society in making the needed changes. It sounds often like the scale of the problems is so huge and I think what I love is that the level at which you can intervene really is one village, one community, one home, one family at a time. 
it makes a difference. Our society is almost unrecognizable in almost every dimension from what it was like a hundred years ago. If we can make those changes over the last hundred years, why can't we make similar changes in the next hundred, but in a very different direction, in the direction of a more sustainable world? We have got to convince people that given current trends, we're headed for disaster. That's the bad news. This new knowledge gives us the possibility of acting in ways that create a brilliant future for all of us. So we need, as, as environmentalists, as good economists, as, as just concerned citizens, to begin to discern that a brighter future comes from making change. What one person can do, what you can do, what each one of us must do if we're going to have a decent world, a good world in which to live, and certainly if we're going to leave a healthy planet to our children and grandchildren, what we must do is personally wake up to these issues and then be an instrument of awakening, if only for one other person. Tag, you're it.